Hey guys, round two. I'm going to do my second attempt today because I messed up the... Action! Action! Ooh, the SLA is in the air. SLSA is in the air. Mm. Okay, I have all my dry ingredients already sifted in the bowl. I'm going to try the recipe from Soap Queen. Um, ooh, my nose is really... I should have put on a mask because I know how sensitive I am with this. But anyway, this one I'm going to try to send in um, watermelon. My dry ingredients are baking soda, cream of tartar, cornstarch, tapioca, and SLSA. Mm. Here's my liquid ingredients, which is glycerin, castor oil, and that all. Oh, and my fragrance. And as I said, I'm using watermelon. So this was done by weight and not by cups as I did in the other one and I tried to be more accurate when it came to measuring mm, I'm sorry but my nose is whew. Oh, let's hope keep my fingers crossed that this one works because I'm low on glycerin and I'm low on my SLSA, which I have to get more of that because I need to do more bath bombs. So, right off hand, I can tell this one has more liquid than the first one I did, but because I put in too much dry ingredients, that's probably why it didn't react as it was supposed to. This one is mixing up better. It's getting more of the doughy feel. So, I'm feeling better about this. And I'm thinking this one may do better. It's almost uh, mixed in. And um, I want to try to do a little design with some seeds and set aside some of this just to uh, put a little activated charcoal in some uh, oil. Oh, yeah, this is much better than that first one. But again, it may not have been the, the recipe. It was probably because I didn't follow the uh, exact mixing ingredients. Well, not the ingredients, but the measurements. So, yeah, this one, oh yeah, 100% better. So, where I was afraid to add more glycerin in the other one, thinking I would mess it up, that's what I should have done. And I might have been able to save it <laughs> and loosen it up. But, <coughs> I've got this one kind of mixed up. Oh, I don't want that. I really want red. Let me see if I can go find some red. Sorry about that. 
I'm gonna use a little red food coloring. And hope I don't make it too red. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this looks like blood. <laughs> Maybe once I get it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm liking this much better. Again, guys, stay with the uh, amounts in your recipes unless you know how to change them up. If you over add somewhere, you're going to have to do add something else to make it come out right. And my thoughts at the time were, well, it'll just be more bubbles. <coughs> that wasn't the case because it made it more drier. But this one is almost ready. Oh shoot, I should have set some aside so I could have turned it black. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm concerned with <coughs> get maybe I can take that out right there and use that as my seat since it's not it still has some white in it I've got to get um, thicker gloves because okay this looks more pinkish I really want to add a little bit more uh, red to make it red like a watermelon. Hope this doesn't stain people's tooth. <laughs> I'm really unsure. So if anybody knows if gel food coloring stains. Please comment so I'll know not to do it again. But yeah, this is this is pretty much still look pinkish. Not the not the red that I wanted, but hey. It may be a a different kind of watermelon. I could have done it yellow and it could have been watermelon or I could have just done it green and it could have been watermelon so whew, whew. Now that I'm thinking about it, duh, I was so worried that it wasn't going to uh, work. I should have put one part uh, green, and I should have did one part this color on the inside. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let me try to mix up a little black. Here I am panicking again. Oh. 
Okay. I got a little oil or glycerin or something in here. Oil and glycerin, I think. Just something to wet the activated charcoal that I want to put into this. And I think I better get another glue. If only, ah, ah, for one hand. My nose is still being tickled from that SLSA. Oh, I thought I'd already busted the glove before I even get it on. I was going to say, come on, give me a break. Okay. Mm. There's going to be a whole lot of seeds. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I wish you guys knew how hot and humid my house was right now. I am really sweating, but again, I got to make it work, and as usual, it's not enough in here to mix it like I want it mixed, but whew, don't get it on there. I don't want to just drop it in, but I'm going to try to roll with it and make it work so okay I'm kind of lost right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this if I want to just do I want to roll it out first and then pick the seat oh I'm just wasting my glove Where's my little? Uh, let's put this here. Oh yeah, this recipe is so much better, guys. Yes, it is. I am so much happier with this. <coughs> so, let me just break off pieces of what would be a seed. I know I probably could have put them in seed shapes, but why? Why go through all of that trouble when it's going to get rolled up? Oh. going to get rolled up and spread out. Oh yeah guys, this, this recipe right here, I'm really happy with it. I am happy. The other one may smell good, but I think this one is going to stick like it's supposed to stick. We're going to call it a day. Uh, again, the fragrance is watermelon. And I'm getting ready to roll it.
right here. In the way. Oh, those are some big seeds. But that's okay with me. Here we go. I said try to get it as tight. Oh, I need a towel of table. All I'm smelling is watermelon, watermelon. And this scent I got from WST, and it works good in everything. Oh, yeah, guys. This right here, Soap Queen's recipe worked for me again. Was it because I followed the measurements or is it just a good recipe? You try it and you decide. Thanks for coming along with me and I will show you both cuts on my next video.